So you want to know how to prank? Today, we're doing bottle pranks for your friends and family. For this prank, get some liquid ass in a cleaning bottle. Take the bottle with the nozzle top off and spray out all the liquid so you can clear out the straw. Take the liquid ass. Be careful, guys. This stuff smells horrible. And what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze and suck up the liquid ass. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Now, your bottle's full of liquid ass. Put it back on top of the cleaning bottle, and then the next time somebody goes to spray to clean, that's gonna smell horrible. It's gonna be a terrible, terrible, terrible experience. This prank is perfect for whoever cleans the house. This stuff smells so bad. So be careful, and maybe set a camera up and get away as far as possible so you don't have to deal with the stench. For this prank, partially remove the label of a soda bottle. Just do it very carefully so you can apply it back when you're done. Take a box knife and cut out little sections behind the label. And then once you do that, take your label, carefully put it back and apply, I got a hot glue stick, apply some kind of adhesive so you can put the label right back on. Next, find the places where you have the holes, cut a slit right through the label. And as you can see, the slits are through the label, but it's very hard to identify. As soon as they go to grab a Coke and pour a drink, they're gonna make a huge mess, and they're not gonna know what's going on. You can make the holes as big or as small as possible. Oh man, what the heck? Oh, it sucks. This is a great prank to do on your brother or sister, especially during the holidays or family get-togethers, to make them clean up the mess. For this prank, all you need is a water bottle and a pen. I prefer a thin top water bottle. This way, you can poke a hole right through the top of the cap, no problem, and it creates the perfect string. Now you have the perfect bottle for a pee prank. You just squeeze it, maybe give it a little bit of a shake so people think like, oh my gosh, he's pulling out a ding -a -ling. Squeeze the bottle, and you got a perfect stream for the pee prank. You can make this Gatorade or make it a different color if you want. I always use water, that way there's no stains. Nobody's gonna get upset with water. The easiest prank in the book to do is the public pee prank. For this prank, get some hot glue sticks, drop them into a little pot, and then pour white food coloring in with it. Melt it down to a liquid, and quickly pour out the hot glue carefully onto some wax paper. While it's still hot, put a baby bottle on it, and make it look like the baby bottle had some milk poured out. Start removing the wax paper. Now imagine walking into your office and all of a sudden you see that. For a split second you're like, no! No! Ah! Ma! Oh! Damn it! Damn it, babe! Why are you pranking me again? For this prank, get a juice box with a straw and a sewing needle and just poke holes. So now whoever goes to drink their juice box Nothing's coming through. Congratulations to Brian Boss 16 I picked your random comment to win my signed prank thumb. Check your YouTube message inbox for my email. Let me know which one of these pranks was your favorite in the comments below. And please leave a random comment. I love reading them. They're very funny. For example, raspberry polka dot tanks. Anything on the mind, leave it down below so we can make a meme out of it. Live inspired, shock the world, and we'll see you next time. Yeah!